we need to talk about this submarine, uh, the Ocean Gate Titan. We need to talk about the circumstances in which this has been le has led to a massive failure. And the media has been covering all day as if this was a search for living people. And let me tell you, that is a... Uh, that is just like the, the, the faint hope of living people because 99% of the chances are that they are already dead, that they were dead at the moment we lost radio contact with them. People are talking about the Logitech, the, the fact that their joystick controller for the ship was apparently purchasable on Amazon. It's like a PS3 type USB controller, well, like the USB controller, but it is Wi-Fi. And I will fully agree with the guy on the YouTube video that I will show uh, later. I will fully agree that the problem of using this controller is not that it's a cheap controller. As a scientist, I've been using Logitech controllers when I was having monkeys playing uh, soccer games on the computer. And it's just, the, the there's not much big professional controllers that you can buy, that you can easily plug to a computer. So it makes absolute sense to use a Logitech con controller sometimes. But do not use a Wi-Fi controller. Are you fucking insane? And, and I fully agree. The guy, the guy who's a geek of submarines is like, what the fuck are you thinking? A Wi-Fi controller... Do you realize that it works until it doesn't work? Do you realize that when the establishment of the connection starts bugging and there's a problem of identification of the remote control, uh, things can totally stop working? I do not use a Wi-Fi controller for my gaming. I do not use any Wi-Fi material for my studio of video recording. My life isn't at play. But do you remember how much this was the only piece of my studio that was Wi-Fi? And it bugged again and again. I couldn't, so, some shows, I couldn't get the flag in the back right here. And eventually I, I changed it for a wired connection. Well, in this case, for a, uh, for a direct connection to the TV with a USB stick. <clears throat> so you don't use wireless stuff for anything that matters. Wireless is a wonderful technology for women and children in the home so that they can walk around the home and do everything that doesn't matter on their devices. If a show rests on it, or if a success in a game rests on it, or if your life rests on it in a fucking submarine at 4,000 meters deep, you don't use wireless for anything. Now, uh, it's worse than this. It's that the, the team that was responsible for this Ocean Gate Titan were enlightened uh, renegades who were seeing themselves as doing something that was never done before. And you hear how the CEO brags that he didn't want to, to hire 50-year-old white guys because they're not inspirational. He says, you know, uh, we're, we're doing something that is so different. We're actually less inspired by the submarine business, but more inspired by space, space travel. Now, as the geek shows in his video, uh, they were not truly uh, taking the lessons from the space world. This guy right here, a genius, apparently, of submarine, points to all of the flaws in the design. One of the flaws that he points toward is, well, this was a carbon fiber or fiberglass hull. So it's something that crashes and shatters instantly. When, when, it, sh when it fails, it fails big. So it's like either you, you totally kill the billionaires inside in an instant, or it works and, and you get back to safety. Second flaw was the wireless control of the joystick which he pointed out, there's all sorts of problems. The, the problem of the connection stops. Do you have a replacement? Do you have a replacement that doesn't rely on Wi-Fi technology or Bluetooth? All of these questions are very important, absolutely important. 
Now, he also points that there was a refusal to engage uh, with the regular safety, the people with experience who turn out to be white old guys, white 50-year-old guys. And we'll listen to what the, how the CEO describes how he's looking for a team that is much fresher than this. CEO of Ocean Gate, Mr. Stockton Rush, had with Teledyne Marine representatives. Teledyne Marine are making the sonar systems and inertial navigation systems for this vessel. But listen to what he talks about. The CEO talks about hiring people. Uh, yes, I mean, when I start the business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub-operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners, and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. Um, yeah, and maybe if you discard these 50-year-old white guys, you are left with a person operating the ship or constructing the ship that has zero experience in doing them. Perhaps the only available option are white guys coming from the military, and you should hire them. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational, and I'm not. <laughs> and the memes are coming out on Twitter right now. <laughs> People are showing someone being totally swallowed by the, the depth of the ocean. But as he dies and is swallowed, he yells, I'm, being, I'm inspired right now. <laughs> I'm inspired as fuck. Holy shit. Inspired. Because you hire females, inspired because you hire young people with less experience, inspired because apparently this team didn't feel like following the standards, following the rules of, uh, of the industry. And in fact, had been criticized as we've, as we've seen on the show yesterday, the industry had come out against them and had said, look, these guys, they don't know what they're doing. They're... They're thinking they're innovating, but they're going to make us look very bad. And now you look very bad indeed. Now you look very bad because you discarded the 50-year-old white guys who could have helped you. I'm not going to inspire a 16-year-old to, to go pursue marine technology. But so now he's saying, well, we weren't really successful at getting 16-year-olds to be uh, fascinated by marine technology, but... 25 year old uh you know who's a sub pilot or a, a platform operator one of our techs can be inspirational and so we've ah so he looked for a 25 year old female to operate the platform that is in charge of delivering the vessel and recovering it now so you got your your 25 year old female so that's inspirational that will that will lead uh people to have confidence Cute, says Joe Blixum. Yes, the problem of cuteness is that when it comes to following the rules and learning from past experiences, uh, a 25-year-old will not have as much. People were pointing out they're not anything but rich people with more money than they know how to spend. Your average saturation diver is closer to an underwater frontiersman than these tourists are. They live in pods for 28 days, working on the seafloor, flirting with death on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> this is the kind of guy. The kind of guy who spends a whole month in these high-depth environments for fixing huge pipelines or whatever it is that they're doing. These guys are the real thing. These guys are the frontiersmen. I, I fully agree with this. The the other guys, the guys who crushed in the in the billionaire submarine, those are tourists. Those are tourists who are trying to do something spectacular and they're paying the price for it. And as I was saying earlier in the show, as a white guy, as a white guy who has high IQ, as a white guy who would have had definitely the level of intelligence to become an engineer, although I'm not an engineer. <clears throat> I'm tired of society rejecting people like me. And I will laugh my ass off every time you guys die under a female controller, under a diversity hiring. I will laugh my ass off when your planes catch fire, when your stairs don't work, and when your buildings crumble. 
I will fucking laugh my ass off and I don't give a shit. You guys have discarded from society the only people who, who have been showing through history that they were capable of doing absolutely amazing thing, uh, of challenging the limits of history, of going where no one has gone. You have dismissed us because you want your little image, your little picture with the female controller of your fucking platform. You can fucking die under 4,000 feet of water. I don't give a shit. That is my attitude. You get what you fucking deserve. That is what we should retain from this experience. These billionaires, I'm not going to drop a tear for them. Now, as I was saying earlier, the saddest fucking thing is that one of these idiot rich businessmen has brought his son, <clears throat> has brought his son on this ridiculous adventure. It's like, when you are old, it's okay to die. It's okay to take a massive risk. And it's okay to be Braveheart style, going to war, putting yourself at threat. Because when you die, you're, you're helping your children survive. You're helping your wife survive. Uh, people are saying he's a 19-year-old. I didn't know that he was that young. A 19-year-old? You brought a 19-year-old into this ridiculous, ubristic adventure for self-aggrandizement and, oh yeah, we went back to, I saw the, the Titanic with my own eyes, not just video. Video is good, bro. Video doesn't get you killed. I can't believe that they would be so irresponsible as to bring someone who has reproductive hope onto this adventure. So, uh, some of the problems. Well, the Wi-Fi, we've already covered it. The carbon fiber, uh, fiberglass slash fiberglass hull is crumb, crumble, crumbles easily. The fact that there is no mechanism for these people to get out of the sub, of the sub without their platform female unscrewing the screws. So that, that's another thing that he pointed out. Uh, every vessel, every spacecraft, every ship as a mechanism for people stuck inside to get out. They didn't have this. They, they were counting on the fact that there would be a platform member there to unscrew. Now, does it matter? We don't know because we don't know if, if it's a problem of collapse or if it's another problem. But anyways, it, it just shows the carelessness for the safety mechanism. On top of it, he points to the danger of being in an all-oxygen environment where if a fire catches, it seems that there was no mechanism in this ship to stop a fire and that the fire would totally kill them almost instantly, just out of the carbon monoxide being produced. So no mechanism for fire safety in a very high fire risk environment, which is high oxygen and you're stuck inside, so there's not even an escape, even if you were to be floating at the surface. You can't escape. Uh, a specialist explorer uh, who abandoned a documentary over safety concerns has tried the vessel. Veteran explorer Josh Gates, who hosts a TV series in investigating myths and legends. Uh, his reaction when he, when he tried the vessel was it did not perform well when he went on a dive aboard the vessel himself. So you had people warning, you had the industry warning that the standards were not being followed. You had this guy saying, hey, that, that's, that's not performing very well compared to what I've seen. And people are pointing out that it's a $30 video game controller, the Logitech Wi-Fi. And again, I don't take issue at all with the fact that it's a $30 piece. Uh, a $30 Logitech wired controller is a good device. I've worked with monkeys with them. Monkeys would be shaking them like this. And it was uh, standing the test of time. But never use Wi-Fi. Never use Wi-Fi for something that's life, that, that's important for life. So all in all, so much lessons. But most importantly... I don't care about learning lessons anymore. I care about basking, about just gloating and laughing in a fat manner. <laughs> As I see people dying, having refused the help of the most competent people 
on this earth, 50 year old white heterosexual male engineers. Fuck you. 